सावित्री बुक इलेवन द बुक ऑफ एवर लास्टिंग डे कैन टू वन द सोल्स चॉइस एंड द सुप्रीम कंस्यूमेशन पेज सिक्स एटी वन इन हिम शेडोज हिज फॉर्म द गोल्डन चाइल्ड हु इन द सन कैप Was cradles his birth. Hiranyagarbha, author of thoughts and dreams, who sees the invisible and hears the sounds that never visited a mortal ear. Discoverer of unthought realities, truer to truth than all we have ever known. He is the leader on the inner roads. A seer, he has entered the forbidden realms. A magician with the omnipotent wand of thought, he builds the secret, uncreated worlds. Armed with the golden speech, the diamond eye, his is the vision and the prophecy. Images casting the formless into shape, traveler and hewer of the unseen paths. He is the carrier of the hidden fire. He is the voice of the ineffable. He is the invisible hunter of the light, the angel of mysterious ecstasies. the conqueror of the kingdoms of the soul a third spirit stood behind their hidden cause a mass of superconscience closed in light creator of things in his all knowing sleep all from his stillness came as grows a tree he is our seed and core our head and base all light is but a flash from his closed eyes and all wise truth is mystic in his heart the omniscient ray is shut behind his lids he is the wisdom that comes not by thought his wordless silence brings the immortal word he sleeps in the atom and the burning star he sleeps in man and god and beast and stone because he is there the inconscient does its work because he is there the world forgets to die he is the center of the circle of god he is the circumference of nature's run His slumber is an almightiness in things awake he is the eternal and supreme above was the brooding bliss of the infinite its omniscient and omnipotent repose its immobile silence absolute and alone all powers were open in countless concords here the bliss that made the world in his body live love and delight were the head of the sweet form in the alluring meshes of the snare recaptured the proud blissful members held all joys outrunners of the panting heart and fugitive from life's outstripped desire Whatever vision has escaped the eye whatever happiness comes in dream and trance the nectar spilled by love with trembling hands the joy the cup of nature cannot hold had crowded to the beauty of his face were waiting in the honey of his love things hidden by the silence of the hours the ideas that find no voice on living lips the soul's pregnant meeting with infinity had come to birth in him and taken fire the secret whisper of the flower and star 
revealed its meaning in his fathomless look. His lips curved eloquent like a rose of dawn, his smile that played with the wonder of the mind and stayed in the heart when it had left his mouth glimmered with the radiance of the morning star, gemming the white discovery of heaven. His gaze was the regard of eternity, the spirit of its sweet and calm intent, was a wise home of gladness and divulged the light of the ages in the mirth of the hours, a son of wisdom in a miracled groom. In the orchestral largeness of his mind, all contrary seekings their close kinship knew, rich-hearted, wonderful to each other, met in the mutual marvelling of their myriad notes, and dwelt like brothers of one family who had found their common and mysterious home. As from the harp of some ecstatic god, there springs a harmony of lyric bliss, striving to leave no heavenly joy unsung. Such was the life in that embodied light. He seemed the whiteness of a boundless sky. He seemed the passion of a sorrowless earth. He seemed the burning of a worldwide sun. Two looked upon each other so, so, so.